What is this, you ask? This is an early 1970s built by the world famous pinstriper Von Dutch. Uh, he was a legendary custom bike, car builder, pinstriper is what he was really known for. Uh, built this in the early 70s. Uh, it has his signature, the eye that sees all uh, in the front, and it also has a rat fink painting in the back. Back in the uh, early 70s, the Brucker family was supplying cars and props to Hollywood. And the next thing you know, they've got about a thousand cars and props. They decided to open a museum. Cars of the Stars and Planes of Fame Movie World Museum. Well, guess who worked there? Von Dutch uh, worked there and he built this vehicle. It's built out of metal. This is original. This has never been restored. This is how he built it. Um, on the, well, well, we'll go around. I got a lot to tell you about it, but this is his style. Uh, I looked up, there's a famous truck that he built. This was, that was on display at the Peterson Museum. He had a very like squared off style. Um, <clears throat> and it's all done out of metal. All this painting is original, home of the Munster coach, meet Robbie the robot. That was all part of that museum display. These are metal fenders, uh, vintage style keystone wheels. Tires look real good. Really tall, exaggerated exhaust stacks that go way up to the top. And Big Daddy Ed Roth also worked at the museum and this is one of his original paintings. Now something you need to understand, this stuff, these paintings sell for a lot of money. They sell at Sotheby's auctions. Um, this, this is valuable part of American, uh, Americana, uh, muscle, uh, not muscle car, but uh, custom car history. You'll see a hitch on there. We'll, do, we'll talk more about that in a minute. Uh, chrome bumper, look like Ford truck tail lights. And again, this is the original paint. This is not uh, restored. So this is an original Von Dutch built car with uh, Big Daddy Roth's rat fink painted on the back. There's the address of where the place was. You can Google it. There's not a lot to be said about it. It is a early 70s Ford uh, 351. I think it's a Cleveland motor. It has a Ford front end. It actually has a Corvette independent suspension in the back. Now I'm going to read a, a bit of uh, information. It was originally built in uh, the early 70s, like I said, for that museum in Bueno Park, California. Um, Ed, Big Daddy Roth and Von Dutch worked there. Von Dutch ended up living there in his bus on the property, which actually went for sale. The bus went for sale for $6.8 million at one time. And he continued to live there even after the park closed. Uh, Von Dutch is uh, respected as one of the world's most talented pinstriper. And this is his trademark design, the all-seeing eye. This is his design. You may have seen it before. Um, <clears throat> after he passed away, the Von Dutch clothing line became worth millions and millions of dollars, uh, which, you know, he, there's after he passed, but that is where Von Dutch clothing came from. They used his name. Now, the hitch in the back, what we used this for was pulling some train cars, trolley cars around our property. We gave tours with this. It has like a 550 something gear in the back. Matter of fact, this thing will pull a wheelie, but it's great for on the property. Uh, the train cars will be in our pictures on our website. Those would be available as well. Uh, we had attached two or three of them filled with people and drove all around our property with this. So it does have a couple different uses. Uh, now it has the button uh, pleated upholstery, little tear in the seat, the old style cushion grip wheel. Looks like he bent the spokes and extended them. Got miscellaneous gauges on the dash. This back, this is a back seat. I probably should have done this ahead of time, but this back seat matches this seat. It, it's a, a bench seat that folds up. Looks like it's out of a Suburban or Blazer or something like that. 
Now, Keith Deem is also a old school, very famous car customizer, and we know him well, and we knew uh, George Barris very well before he passed, and you know they both verified by looking at this that this is a Von Dutch design. We don't have actual documentation, but I can tell you Von Dutch's pinstripe box sold for 270000 and again, his bus was listed for $6.8 million. So this is nowhere near any of those figures. Um, and it's more than just a painting. This is an actual Von Dutch creation. And it has his Von Dutch painting on the front, and this rat fink painting on the back. You probably take that off and sell it separately and uh, recoup a good chunk of your money. So this is a, a piece of artwork, a piece of Americana and history. Uh, and it's also something that can be used. This thing just ran on hot days. We, we used it uh, around our property uh, all the time. Uh, and uh, we've uh, got it sitting in our warehouse now and it's time to clean house a little bit. We just have way too many items. So reluctantly, we decided to let this go. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can look at all the information and the pictures. And that's where you can talk to a salesman who can help answer your questions. Uh, that's all at volocars.com. Uh, we can arrange shipping anywhere in the country. Thanks for watching.